Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deidre from our Upcycled Life. I do lots of thrifting, upcycling, repurposing, and DIY content. Love new crafting friends. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any great DIY content. Today, we are tackling glass jar lids. I have so many of these. I never throw them out because you can make so many fantastic DIYs with them. I have a bunch today that I'm going to show you that I'm going to upcycle and DIY that are so cute and high-end decor. So lots to cover. Let's get started. Today's all about lids off of glass jars. I have all kinds of them. Never throw them out. We're going to make a gift tag. I spray painted this with some primer and then I put two coats of my homemade white chalk paint on and I drilled a hole in the top and we're going to add a hanger and put a piece of cardboard in the middle. I've cut a piece of scrapbooking paper down to the size of a paper so I can print on this and then put it into my gift tag. So I'm gonna put this into my printer. I've designed a happy birthday graphic and I'm gonna print it off. I got it printed, all cut out. We're gonna Mod Podge it onto that little circle of cardboard. Got it all set inside and I put two coats of Mod Podge on top of it just to seal it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna use my twine and put a nice border around it. And there you have a way to customize gift tags. You can print off anything that you want on the piece of scrap paper, free lid off of a glass jar. So much fun. Next up cycle, we are going to make a magnet. Now a little trick to painting lids. If you put some paper on your jar, screw the lid on, you can spray paint your lid and it makes it a lot easier than trying to hang onto it and spray paint it or setting on something. You can hang onto the bottom of the jar, spray paint it. When it's all dry, you can unscrew it off and you're ready to use it. So I'm gonna take this out and give it a spray. When I'm painting my lids, I always like to use a primer. It's really difficult if you're painting these with acrylic paint or latex paint and you don't prime it first, the paint will peel off. Putting the primer on makes it stick a lot better. So all of these projects, I'm going to put a coat of primer on and then we can paint with latex or acrylic on top of that and it'll stick really well. The primer has all dried on this lid. I've got a piece of cardboard. I'm gonna cut a circle out to go in the middle of the lid and I'm gonna cut on the inside of it so it'll fit inside. I'm gonna hot glue that circle of cardboard into the lid. I want to print a little quote on a circle to put inside of our magnet. So I've got a piece of scrapbook paper. I'm going to cut it to the size of a piece of computer paper so we can put it through our printer and print a quote on the paper. I've printed off the quote on a piece of paper. It turned out perfect. Now I'm going to use my lid as a guide, cut the circle out to put on the inside. I've got my quote all cut to fit in there. Perfect. I'm going to use some of my Mod Podge and we're going to decoupage that onto that piece of cardboard. You can do this with photos, with quotes, with anything. So many possibilities and it makes a really cute little magnet for your fridge or your kitchen or anything metal that you want to stick it on. We're just going to press it right in there so it lays nice and then we're going to let it dry. Now while that's drying, I wanna make a nice fancy edge for this. So I'm gonna measure out what I need to go around the lid. And then I'm gonna cut it a little bit longer and we're gonna make a fringe for this. I always have lots of twine on hand. I'm gonna cut a whole bunch of pieces about that long. And that's what we're gonna make our fringe out of. Now we're just gonna fold these pieces of twine in half, add them to this other piece of twine that wrapped around the lid and just do a lark's head knot like this. And we're gonna add it until it's the length of the lid. I 
I just love making these fringes. It takes your projects to the next level. We're just gonna put that lid in there and I'm gonna hot glue it all around the lid and then fluff it up nice. I'm now just gonna hot glue a strip of magnet on the back. And it's ready to display. I think this turned out so cute. It's hard to believe that it originally started off as a lid from a salsa jar and the fringe completed it. The primer has all dried on this lid. I've got a piece of cardboard. I'm gonna cut a circle out to go in the middle of the lid and I'm gonna cut on the inside of it so it'll fit inside. I'm gonna hot glue that circle of cardboard into the lid. Now I've just got some jute twine and I'm just gonna start a circle and fill in this whole lid. And the twine is all filled in the bottom of the lid. I'm now gonna paint this with some of my homemade white chalk paint. This took two coats of my chalk paint and now I'm gonna put some graphics on it. I have a whole set of eight graphics that is fantastic for these coasters. They're in my Etsy store if you wanna grab them and you can make some of these yourself, save your, your little lids. And I'm going to put this graphic on this with my Mod Podge mat. Our graphic on the coaster has completely dried. I'm just gonna take a damp rag with a little bit of water and we're gonna rub off that graphic. Whenever I'm doing coasters, I wanna make sure they're sealed really well. You're gonna be putting a hot cup of coffee on this or something cold, it's gonna condensate. So I always like to use this engine enamel. It gives it a really hard coat, heat resistant, waterproofs it, and it's fantastic. You can find it on Amazon. I'll see if I can find the link to put, um, put it below in my description. And how's that for a coffee lid? We've got the twine underneath so it won't scratch your surface and you can set your coffee on it. Perfect. For this lid, I primed it and then I had these wooden cutouts that I got at the dollar store. I just put them around the outside edge and now I'm gonna paint this. I have a really pretty terracotta color. I'm gonna paint the whole thing. We're gonna turn it into a candle holder. I've mixed up a little bit of sand paint. I love the texture that it gives and I'm gonna paint that on the circles. I've got a tin can. I'm just gonna set that in there and paint the circles with the sand paint. And I'll show you the texture that it creates. It's fantastic and it just kind of gives it a little bit more of a elegant look than just the flat paint. And I think this turned out really cute. But that sand paint kind of took it to the next level. Perfect candle holder. Another thing that I love to make with lids are garden labels. You can pick these up at the dollar store, $1.25. There's 10 of them in there. And I like to put a label in the middle of these and then display them out in the garden. So I'm gonna put one together. This has already got a coat of the primer and I'm gonna paint it white. We're ready to put our garden marker together. I have a whole sheet of vegetables and herbs that is available in my Etsy store if you wanna grab them. You can make all kinds of these for your garden. Make sure you use the code SAVE50 and you get 50% off all my graphics in my store and get creating with them. I've printed off beans I'm gonna do my Mod Podge reverse graphics and put it on the inside of this lid. We're all ready to put our garden marker together. This is sat overnight. I'm just gonna dampen it with a little bit of water and rub off the paper. All the paper is rubbed off. 
I'm going to take this outside. We're going to seal it with that engine enamel because it's going to be out in our garden. We want to make sure that it's um, sealed really well. Take it outside. Going to give it a good spray. The engine enamel is all dry. I'm just going to put some hot glue on the back and glue it to the wooden stick. My garden is still all frozen, but I'm going to be making all kinds of these to have ready when my garden is ready to be planted. When I tell you that I save all of my lids, I save all of my lids. This one's really fun. I can't wait to put this all together because it's going to be adorable. I've painted all of these lids with some primer, spray primer, and then I've painted them all different colors with some of my acrylic paint that I had and drilled a hole in the top of all of them. And then this is just a tin can that I had. I drilled a hole in the top and holes all around the sides and primed it and then painted it with some of my homemade white chalk paint. We're gonna put a fun graphic on it. Be grateful, slow down, enjoy life. We're gonna use this one that's reversed with the Mod Podge reverse graphic transfer. And I'm gonna make a wind chime. I've printed off the graphic on my laser jet printer on just regular computer paper and I'm using my Mod Podge mat. And we're going to put it on the jar, let it sit and dry and then rub off the paper and we'll have a graphic on our wind chime. While we're waiting for my graphic to dry, I'm gonna put a hanger on the top. I'm just taking some twine, pulling it right through, and then I'm gonna tie a knot, probably a couple knots actually, to keep that twine in the jar. Pull it through, and then decide how long you want it to hang down. And then I'm just going to tie a loop in the top so we have a loop to hang it from. Trim off the extra. Then we've got a hanger. I've got some of my thinner twine. I'm going to put this through the hole in each of these little lids, tie a knot so it'll stay on. And then I'm gonna do them all different random lengths. So when they're hanging from our wind chime, they all hang at different uh, spots on the wind chime. I've tied on all my lids and now I'm just going to wet the paper and rub it off so we're left with graphics. I distressed the lids a little bit with a little bit of sandpaper. I think it just kind of gave them that really nice rustic look. The colors are all fantastic. I love how colorful it is. My graphics all done. I distressed the tin can some too. I'm gonna take some jute and put some jute on the top and the bottom with the hot glue and it'll be finished. It's all done and I thought it was going to be easier to put it all together and then give it a really good coat of this en engine enamel to seal it up really well. I'm not going to have this right out in the elements but I'm going to hang it up underneath a porch so it's not going to get wet or snow or anything at all, all the time but I do want to seal it really well. I'm going to hang it up and give this a really good spray and it'll be all finished. This might be one of my favorite upcycles that I've done in a while. I love it. I love the little colorful, whimsical look of it. So easy to put together. And I love using up free stuff from the recycling bin. I'd love to know which one of today's projects was your favorite. Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.